Hi guys, I'm the Spectrum Flipper, also known as Joe. I'm a part-time eBay reseller here in the UK. What that means is I go around charity shops, thrift stores, any second-hand shop, buy items for a low margin, sell them online for a high profit. Welcome back to another account boot video. You probably haven't seen my ugly face in a while, or if you're new, you probably have never seen my ugly face. So hi, I'm Joe, as I've just mentioned there. Welcome to the channel. This is another account boot video. Just thought I'll explain why I'm here. I bought a new backpack mount to strap there and unfortunately it wasn't really good uh, so in this video I'm just going to explain why some of the items you can't see and why the camera's a bit wobbly so yeah the backpack mount it falls over sometimes and it doesn't tighten up I guess so that's why some of the items you can't see in this video I try my best to showcase them yeah you'll, you'll have to bear with me with this video but yeah I hope you enjoy it please leave a like comment subscribe go check out my links check out the people that I shout out as well during you know, the video Check their links down below and yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Uh, all the way down there. Oh, in fact. Probably. Excuse me, how much is that? How much are dinosaurs? Sophie, Sophie, how much are your big dinosaurs? It's 50p each, no. said. I'll get that one as well. Somebody else likes dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's not. No. <laughs> There's more though. Yeah, yeah there's more, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll just get that one as well. Oh, it's swift feet, it's alright. That's for the dinosaur. Yeah, thank you. It's uh, tweeny, is it? Oh, I haven't got a clue. I'm happy with that. 35 quid I'll get. No. So I got a yeah. I got T Rex as well. Nah, I think this one's cheaper but still got it. And then I got one that I've never had before, so I'm hoping it's decent. Yeah, sorted. Is that two pounds? Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's ranked it. Alright, so this next one is using a voice memo, as you can see or hear. Uh, it is a Takari Tomy Studio Series Long Haul. It is part of a, another Transformer which is called Devastator. I'll pop a picture of what that looks like right now. Uh, it's the massive construction one that was in one of the Bayverse movies. Uh, so this one is quite rare to be honest because um, he's a Transformer that transforms into another Transformer. I know it can get confusing. This one's a Voyager class. You probably don't know what that means, trust me, I get confused with them as well. It just basically means it's a different size, I believe at least. Paid a pound for it. Uh, looking at comps, I should get around 20 to 40 pound on it. A comp that I show you now is actually a bid for 20 pound, so I can't really go off that, but the other solds are all in American, they're like up for like 40, 60 quid. So I'm going to list mine up for 40, see what happens, and hopefully you know, make a nice chunk of change. But yeah, it's long haul. Voyager class and it's a studio series from Takari Tommy. I'll pop a picture of what the box and stuff like that looks like so if you see it out in the wild pick it up. That's it for that one. Let's get into the other items I guess. I'm 
Alright, so this next item is the same lightsaber from my last video that I recorded on the channel. Uh, it's a 2016 Disney Store lightsaber, blue lightsaber of course, uh, Force FX, I believe that's what they're called. Uh, this one works, all tested, lights and sounds work, you know, the sound effects and stuff like that. The last two that I bought, unfortunately, the lights didn't work inside them. But uh, I've still listed them up for like 35 quid. I've bundled them together just to bundle them up to you know sell them quick quickly because uh, the lights are working. But if a cosplayer comes along, I probably don't really mind because it's blue already and it's red already and stuff like that. These can go for a lot of money. I paid two pound for that. I should probably get like 30 pound for it. I'm happy with that. Unfortunately, they do go large parcel, so it's about eight ten quid to send out. But Obviously, I'll get the person to pay for that if they're going for it or going to buy it, should I say. So, yeah, £2 into a potential 30 Not a bad find. Can't complain. Let's get into the other item. Alright, so after we got done with looking at the stall, which had a lot of toys to be fair, which, you know, is my market, didn't have anything that interested me to be honest, uh, a lot of it was like, uh, cheaply made like Batmans and stuff like that, which are actually made by DC Comics themselves, but obviously they have like some really high quality ones and some like cheaper made ones, but yeah, enough of me rambling on that. Uh, this box is full of Toy Biz stuff, and yes, that is a Le Creuset on the table, which I completely forget, or forgot to look at, should I say. Uh, I was more, I guess, interested in the box because it had a lot of Spider-Man Toy Biz stuff, which I know quite a few go for a bit. Uh, I have sold one in the past, a Tobey Maguire one from 2003 for like 50 quid, and I paid 50p for it. So I have a look in this one. It has a lot of Sinister Six figures so like Craven as you can see there and uh, Electro which I don't know if you can see you probably can who knows <laughs> the camera angle was a bit weird there's a few Star Wars figures there as well but unfortunately it was broken now looking back at it I probably should have offered some money for the whole box because he did have a lot of like vintage toys in there some were like age 1990 something like 95 one of the toys that i had to pick up was 1999 uh kane from wwf at the time uh titan tron uh, he is actually one of the first figures i sold on my ebay page so that's a fun fact uh unfortunately it doesn't go as much as what i used to sell him for he used to sell for like 15 pound about three years ago or something like that uh now he only goes for like six pound plus postage but that basically pays for the whole box or the figures that I bought, should I say. Uh, paid £5 for four figures. Got Craven, I got Electro, and I got the Spider Man figure. The Spider Man figure comps out all over the place, to be honest. Um, some have sold for £10, some have sold for £70, and some have, some have sold for £100. So I'm probably going to be in the middle, stick it up for £30, £40, see what happens. And yeah, let's hope I'll get some pennies from it. <laughs> uh, the Electro and Craven, should I say? I'm speaking too much, I'm fumbling my words. Uh, the Electro and Craven, um, I can probably get about £20 for both of them. I can get 15 for the Electro and 12 99 free postage for the Craven. But I'm probably just going to bundle them together, try and get £20, £22 with postage. I know the math doesn't add up there, but you know what I mean. Just try and get it gone quick. Pays for the whole bundle. And let's hope that Spider Man goes for what the comps say. And it'll be a nice find. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. I love, like, the pausable Spider Mans. It's so funny to, like, take pictures of. Because there's always, like, pictures where you can just, like, <laughs> I guess, show the bird and stuff like that. It's funny. So, yeah, I'm glad with that find. I did leave the crew saying completely forget about it. I'm sorry about that, you're probably screaming at me. That's a nice truck, very funky. But yeah, uh, let's get into the other items. Oh, 
and drying dry. You know that for a second. That's it stalled. Alright, so the next items are five wrestling belts, all ranging from 2002 to 2005 to 2010. I know that's a bit weird why I said it in that order. I got a 2003 Jet Specific tag team belt. I believe it's the SmackDown version of it. Uh, I know like they do Raw and SmackDown, something like that. Um, <coughs> I got a 2003 Jet Specific World Heavyweight Championship belt. I got 2005 spinning USA belt, the one that John Cena like redesigned, I believe, or at least his character, should I say. And I got a 2010 spinning WWE Championship belt as well. Uh, there's one more that I'm actually missing on my list. Oh, there it is. It's the modern uh, championship belt. Uh, they wanted two pound each. I offered seven quid because. You know, two pound each from five items is ten, obviously. So I offered seven, uh, but they took eight. Um, I sort of collect them, but I also sell them on. So that's why I said I collect them. Um, and I have like some replicas in my bedroom and stuff like that, like proper real ones, uh, which are like a hundred quid on eBay. But yeah, not a bad find. A lot of them range from like ten to fifteen pound. Um, I mainly target cosplayers, movies, uh, especially at Halloween. I love Halloween sure. costumes. I like wrestlers. I don't know why, but they are. I'm just chatting with them on, so I know what I'm going to do with them. But yeah, a lot of them range from 10 to 15 pound. I'm going to show you comps now, and for like 8 pound, not a bad find. One of the belts pay for that, and then I make profit on top. So yeah, not a bad find. Uh, the next items you can't see unfortunately, but uh, oh, you can see at the top, I guess. Uh, more lightsabers. These ones are flick out ones from 2015. I believe they were during when Return of the Jedi came out. So that's Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, and the next one is, or the red one, is I believe Kylo Ren, if I remember correctly. Paid a pound each for the both of them. For the both of them. God, for both of them. I might be mumbling the words, I'm sorry, I've got a migraine whilst I'm recording this, so <laughs> that's why. But yeah, paid a pound each, I should get ten pound each on both of them, so not a bad find. Always look out for your lightsabers, they're just easy money, or the car boot especially. They always sell them for a pound, or two pound, you just pick them up. Nice easy find, nice easy item to ship, and yeah, I'm happy with that find. One one pound or two pounds should I say into a potential 20 so yeah can't complain yeah. I don't go there do I? I'll do that one and then we'll do this one yeah shout out to the flipping Chris and uh, the reseller kid for this next find they mentioned in a Kabi video a while ago that I missed out on a revitive circulation booster uh, and they go for like 60 70 quid. Uh, I made sure not to miss out on this one because it was basically new inside and I'm very happy with it. Uh, paid £3 for this and you should be looking out for it. It's definitely the find of the day. I can't complain. Uh, £3 and I'll show you the comps now. It's actually insane how much these go for. So, yeah. They go for £150, £80 without like the remote, unfortunately this one doesn't have the remote, so I can probably get 80 90 quid or something like that, but £3 into that, absolutely crazy, and again, shout out to the flipping Chris, formerly known as Dorset Dad Reseller, you probably already know who that is, and shout out to the reseller kid for, you know, tipping me off and giving me some information on this and letting me know about it, so yeah, definitely a find of the day, very glad with that. And I've already got it listed on an £80 bid, and a few watchers are already looking at it. So, yeah, can't complain with that. Very, very happy. Let's get into the other item. Yeah, I can see them. They're down there, though. Excuse me, how much are you, Woody and Jesse? So, they're three pounds each. Three each, are you going to get them? Yeah, You do two for a fiver? Yeah, two for a fiver? Yeah, it will. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you watched the videos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cheers, thank you. <laughs> How was your day been? Yeah, not too bad, yeah. yeah. Got here early, but they weren't letting anybody in. Oh, right. I back at quarter past six. Jeez. So, yeah, yeah. Sides I got here about seven ish, really. Did you? Yeah. Late start. <laughs> you got, do that though, don't got you? Got a few bits, but. Yeah, you're always apologising for not getting there early. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've noticed. Yeah, you too. Cheers for what? Uh. Cheers, thank you. Oh, it's that? 50 kilo. Yep, I'll take that. Thank you. I thought it would, How much you got that? A pound. You know that one works, don't you? Click stop. Yeah, yeah. I know how all of them work. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. Sorry. All right, so that's where the video ended. A uh, bit of a short one for this car boot video. I usually don't make it longer than you can see more of the angles and stuff. But because of the backpack strap, I thought I might as well just condense it down because uh, you can't really see that much, to be honest. Uh, depends which side I was on the aisle. So, so like I was on this side you could see it more but if i was on that side you become basically so yeah about to condense it down and that's about it never mind it's not i almost forgot my train of thought uh, i want to do a quick shout out so a few people uh shout out to flipping chris formerly known as dorset dad reseller and the reseller kid thanks to them for the tip on the revitive uh, circulation booster uh from a couple of videos ago if i remember correctly yeah, I think it was a couple of videos ago. Mentioned that I missed one. It wasn't that one specific, but uh, they mentioned that I missed one and could go for like 70 quid or something like that. And I would just completely walk past it. So without them telling me what they are, basically, I would have found that one that was three pound, which could potentially net me like 100 and something pound. So yeah, thank you very much for that. And I also want to give a quick shout out to the person that I met that said, um, watches my videos. I couldn't catch your name, unfortunately. I forgot to, you know, ask you. Well, uh, thank you for watching if you're watching right now and um, thanks for like coming up to me and saying hi and stuff uh, I really do appreciate you know people coming up to me and saying they watch and let me enjoy the videos so thank you very much for that and yeah I hope you enjoy this video as well um, that's it really for me and I'll see you next week if it's on it probably won't be because it's raining right now and it's Friday as I'm recording this outro it probably might not be on depending on the weather so depends on that to be honest if another video comes out so yeah thanks for watching please leave a like comment subscribe check my links check uh flipping chris and the reseller kid down below and yeah 